New details this afternoon on a suspected anti-Semitic assault outside of a D.C. synagogue. Police were called to the Kesher Israel Synagogue in Georgetown yesterday morning after a man allegedly shouted, gas the Jews, and then sprayed people with a foul-smelling substance. News 4's Mauricio Casillas joins us now live to walk us through what we've learned about this disturbing incident. Mauricio? On Sean, I spoke to the rabbi here, Chaim Shafter, who tells me Sunday morning he was inside the synagogue teaching a class to a few congregants. They, one of them walked outside, and right here where I'm standing on this sidewalk is where they saw a U-Haul van parked here. And you'll notice there's some bollards right here that in theory is supposed to thwart that from happening. So they knew something was up at that point. And the rabbi tells me what happened next was very concerning. A sense of security fractured in a matter of moments at Kesher Israel Synagogue. News 4 obtained this picture of police approaching 33-year-old Brent Wood. Police say he stood outside the house of worship and sprayed a congregant and someone who was jogging on the street with a foul-smelling spray. What made it worse is what Wood allegedly said. Oh, he was yelling, gas the Jews. Rabbi Schaffner says he and the rest of the congregants went back inside exited through a different way and called police. I was afraid. I was worried that he was going to do something more violent, obviously. Police arrested Wood and charged him with simple assault and resisting arrest. Police briefly evacuated nearby residents as they did a sweep of the van, but nothing hazardous was found. A scary situation for all in the neighborhood. The police were wrestling this guy on the ground, trying to get him to stop resisting, and there must have been five, six police cars. I've never seen so many. According to bias-related crimes data from MPD, as of November 30th of this year, police have investigated 22 incidents targeting Jewish people in the district. In 2022, there were nine incidents. In 2021, 13. Certainly something I haven't seen in, my, in 50 years. It's a uh, dramatic upswing, uptick, and it's, uh, it's unsettling. D.C. police say someone also sent threatening emails to multiple synagogues in the district, including Kesher Israel. No credible threats were found, but it's still unnerving for the community. This is a country where everybody should feel free to worship as they want to worship. I mean, that's what America is built on, uh, freedom of, of religion. And if we've gotten to a time when people can't do that, I think it should worry all of us. Police say the suspect isn't from the D.C. area. His driver's license reveals that his last known address is from Toledo, Ohio. Court documents reveal that he's been released and he's been ordered to stay away from the synagogue and the two victims that he sprayed. He's due back in court on January 29th of next year. It's now up to the U.S. Attorney's Office to determine if what happened here can be classified as a hate crime. Reporting in Georgetown, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Mauricio, thank you.